This is what I eat in a day as a 26 year old vegan. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through absolutely everything that I eat today. And it starts out with this beautiful fruit salad here, which I have with a couple grapefruits and a couple persimmons. And I'm having that with a chamomile lavender tea to go with it. And I really like having fruit first thing in the morning. It's not always these specific fruits, but uh, I cycle through different things like melons and such. And I, I just like how it makes me feel. I like getting that hydration in my body first thing in the morning and it just sets me up uh, really well for the day. So that's the first meal I'm having right now, or snack, I guess you could call it. And then I'll be checking back in with you for my actual like full-size breakfast. Oh, hey there. So nice of you to join me for breakfast. Today we're making overnight oats. They're gonna be absolutely fantastic. If you're a long time watcher, you'll know that this is actually the first video that I ever made on this YouTube channel, which you could check out up here. But be sure to watch how I prepare it right now because I'm adding a magical ingredient that just makes it taste so much better. And because it's the winter time, I'm going to be heating it up on the stove, but during the summertime when it's really hot, I'll just eat this cold right out of the fridge and it's just like so amazing. So I'll flip the camera around now and show you how to prepare it. All right, so now that the oats are heating up on the stove here, I'm gonna go ahead and add the magical ingredient which is peanut butter. Um, I love adding peanut butter to my oatmeal. I used to drizzle it on top and it was really good, but I found that mixing it in when you're warming it up is just like amazing as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that now. So I'll be exercising today. So that's usually determines like how much exercise I do usually determines how much peanut butter I'm gonna be putting in the oatmeal. Uh, but today I'll put a good amount in here and it's just a beautiful thing, you know? All right, so now that I have the peanut butter in, I just kind of wait for it to heat up and it's all super good right now. It's like really peanutty. And once it's all heated up, I'll transfer it over to the bowl and add the toppings. All right, so this is what the oats look like when they're finished. And now I'm gonna be adding some toppings. I have here two perfectly ripe bananas. I don't care what anybody says, this is perfectly ripe. And I'm gonna be peeling these and adding them to the top here. And then probably my favorite ingredient to add are these beautiful dark sweet cherries on top. All right, so I'm sitting down here with my breakfast here. This is it finally prepared. Um, it's one of my favorite breakfasts to have or one of my favorite meals to have in all honesty. And I wanted to take a minute to just talk about like loving the food that you eat. Like how do you feel about the food that you eat before, during and after you've eaten it? And because when I used to eat like a lot more unhealthy, I thought I liked the food that I ate because I would feel really good like before and while I was eating it, or at least like at the start of eating it. Um, but then I get that like sore stomach and just like that feeling of just not feeling good uh, during the latter half of the meal and afterwards. And now the way that I eat now, it's, it's really nice because I'll feel great like before, during and after my meals. And it's just like kind of changed my relationship with food, I guess, like I really, truly do like the food that I eat um, versus before I just kind of like thought that I liked it um, but it wasn't actually like making me feel good. So yeah, I just, just want to add that little tidbit but I'm gonna dig into this now and I'll check back in with you uh, for lunch. All right, so I'm back in the kitchen for lunch and I'm actually having a lentil chickpea bolognese pasta uh, with Brussels sprouts that I made last night. So I meal prepped a bunch of them and so I'm just gonna have one of these heated up nice and easy in the microwave. And I'm also going to be putting on the Instant Pots because I have some cooking to do tonight. I'm going to be making um, a Caesar salad and a uh, kind of like leftover type veggie stir fry uh, for later tonight, which you will be seeing as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then uh, I'll, I'll show you what the finished lunch product looks like.
All right, so that's lunch, nice and easy. I just threw on top some uh, red pepper chili flakes and some homemade vegan Parmesan cheese. And yeah, I'm gonna devour this. And then up next is one of my favorite recipes. It's my creamy Caesar salad recipe. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm back in the kitchen. The beans actually just finished and now I'm gonna work on making this Caesar salad. And I did also want to mention one thing in this video and it's the recipe that I'm following. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you might have heard about my free meal plan, but all the meals that I'm having today are actually part of that meal plan. It's basically my personal recipe book that I just kind of give away for free uh, to anyone that subscribes to my YouTube channel. So if you want that, you can find the link in the description. You actually don't even have to subscribe, but I really appreciate it if you did. <laughs> but that link, like you could send it to your friends if you want to give them the meal plan as well. And it's just like a downloadable Word document, which I will show you right now. So over here, this is just what I'm following for cooking this uh, Caesar salad recipe. And it's basically just like the whole recipe all, all laid out nicely on a, on a Word document. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that because I think it's kind of cool that everything I'm eating today is from that, which is usually the case. Um, and yeah, so definitely check it out. All right, so that is the creamy Caesar salad that I'll be thoroughly enjoying. It's just so good, like with that fresh lemon juice on top, and it's by far my uh, favorite salad off the meal plan. So that's what I'll be having right now, and then I'll check back with you later for dinner. Okay, so I'm just here in the kitchen. It's getting pretty late and I'm making some of uh, this veggie stir fry, the scrappy veggie stir fry. I'm trying to use up some mixed veggies that I had from the freezer as well as the fridge. And I'm just gonna throw it in with some beans and rice and uh, meal prep quite a bit here. And uh, it should be good for the next few days. So yeah, I'll show some shots of the cooking and everything. And then I'll uh, talk to you again uh, when it's all ready to go. So this is my last meal of the day. It's just beans, rice, and some vegetables. It's nothing too fancy, but I'll put some Frank's Red Hot on it and it's gonna taste pretty good. So that's absolutely everything that I've eaten today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and check out some of the other videos I have on the channel. I make videos about self-improvement and I also have an entire healthy eating playlist if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Peace. Oh, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder.